Hello friends, welcome to SourceCAD Tutorials and um, in this tutorial I'll discuss two of the most important tools in 3D modeling. These are Extrude and Pressbook. Both are used alternatively and both are very useful. So let's start with our Extrude tool. Here is our 3D modeling workspace. Make sure we are in 3D modeling workspace. Now I'll switch it uh, to Southwest isometric view by clicking on that home icon and we'll make some of the 2D objects. Since these are sketch based features, so we need sketches before we execute these two commands. I'll convert this view to parallel since we are in perspective now. Right click and parallel. Now I'll make one more thing a circle, something like this. Now click on extrude. And here you will find an option for mode for now ignore it click on the object press enter and there you go you can extrude that closed boundary to a certain height enter value of height i'm entering value as one and press enter now the height of block is one unit and here it is extruded Select on extrude again, but this time I'll go to mode. Click on mode, and since solid is already selected, solid was the default, I'll click on surface and go ahead and select the circle. Press enter, and now you can see that whatever I will make will be converted to a surface. I'll enter a height value of one unit again and enter. So this one was solid because mode solid was selected, this one is surface because surface mode is selected in this situation. Now let's erase these things and go to top view and make one more drawing something like this and go to home view and I'll go to this front change it to parallel and now our view now I'll make a line uh, line something tapered something like this Click on this home icon again and go to world coordinate system. Okay, I right, click and parallel. Now I will execute this extrude command again. So go to extrude, select this rectangle. Now, one thing I want to make clear before selecting this tool, uh, this uh, rectangle, that extrude command can only be executed on closed boundaries. In this case, this boundary is completely closed, hence we are able to execute extrude commands. If the boundary was open, then we would be forced to select each and every object and in that case it will make a surface instead of a solid. For example, this one is also a closed boundary and this one is also a closed one. But if we extrude this one, then we have to select all the lines. And after making the selection, when you press enter, you'll be able to extrude it as a surface, not as a solid, even though it is a closed boundary. So make sure that before making this solid, you convert it to a closed boundary by joining all of them or converting them to a region. Now I'll go to mode and make sure that it is solid. solid. Now click on this rectangle, press enter. Now you can see that it's extruding into vertical direction that is along z axis. If we want to extrude it along some other direction, then we'll select this direction here. So click on this direction, and now I will specify a direction. The start point will be here, and the end point will be somewhere on this line. Okay, I will select this middle point, and there it is this one is extruded along the direction of this line and you can easily set this direction using the 2d rotate command or the all the 2d options okay I think you understood this now let's select another feature of extrude click on extrude select this rectangle press enter now the path click on path now once you click on the path which is in this case this line once you click on this path it will extrude something like this it will extrude it up to the entire length of the path and it will follow its angle as well 
so you can see this now we have one more option to see select extrude click on this object press enter now the third option taper angle let's execute this thing so click on taper angle and this time I'll enter 10 as the taper angle and press enter now you can see that as we move our curve cursor upwards it will taper and the angle of tapering is 10 units either you can move it upwards or downwards but it will always taper to an angle of 10 degrees so let's specify a height of 3 units and enter and there it is it has tapered to 3 units this is how you can taper it also and this was all in extrude command now we'll look at another command which we have that is press pull but for press pull I'll make a few boundaries just a few boundaries something similar to this okay we are done extrude and press pull are quite similar with a slight difference the difference is in case of extrude you can only select the objects but in case of press pull you have to select the area inside these objects so let's click on this press pull once you click on press pull you'll be able to select the area inside these boundaries so click on the area and then you can see that only the area is selected and you can do the same operation as in extrude command so click on to enter and it has been press pulled to a height of two units let's select this area and enter a value of negative minus two and it will go along the negative direction like this and in this way you can do everything click on this and extrude it to the side we are done so this is how the press pull operation works now press pull has got one more use if we already have an object then using press pull we can subtract the geometry as well for example in this case let's make an object on this surface we have made a circle in this case and I'll select press pull click on press pull click inside the circle and press pull it downwards just take it down no matter what your height is just take it down and click and there it is you can find that it has made a groove here a groove has been made instead of extruding it so if a material is already present press pull command will subtract it so do take care of this let's erase this thing you can also select the boundary using the press pull tool you are not confined with selecting the areas inside now go to press pull tool click on the circle and the circle will extrude in a normal way as the extrude command but in this case it will behave completely like extrude tool so make sure uh, that you select the area inside so this was all in extrude and press pull tool I hope you liked it and if you like please go ahead and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching have a nice day